Hola and welcome to Drinks Tube. I'm Omar Aliboy, I'm a Spanish chef and I've been cooking Spanish food all my life. We are here at my restaurant, Tapas Revolution in London, and today we are going to be tasting some of the most authentic tapas and some of Spain's best craft beers. There is a few legends about the origin of tapas, but one of them originated centuries ago in Andalucía, in the south of Spain. They used to use a slice of bread with some charcuterie and put it on top of your glass of your drink to stop flies or mosquitoes and the sand of the beach to go into the actual drink. Sometimes with tapas you have a lot of different flavors going on in the table and wine not may match them all. Beer, in the other hand, washes it all down between mouthfuls and links it all together. So for my first match, I'm going to be pairing ham with a salty beer. This beer is very special, it's made with Mediterranean sea water. Uh, comes from the region of Valencia, known for uh, the waters to have a great level of purity. This is not yet another ham, it's jamón ibérico, the most expensive in the world. And it's done by salting the leg of a very special breed of pigs called ibérico and then dry curing them in cellars for three years. Very salty yet very aromatic, this is a pale golden ale. Mm. And after a really nice bite, let's take another sip. And this now brings a complete different experience. Even though this is so salty and sweet by nature, it just feels so much sweeter because of the saltiness that the sea water brings to the beer. If you can find this particular salty beer uh, and you want to learn more, uh, try the goats on the link over here and match it with some beautiful ham at home. Now, here we have a rosemary-infused beer called La Socarrada. It's brewed by the same family as El Boqueron, and I'm matching it with Ensalada de Calabacín, which is a courgette salad, very fresh and flowery, as you can see, as well with, uh, which has been filled with a creamy smoked cheese foam. has a lot of character, it's a very complex beer, I would say, and fine, and that's why I think it's gonna work very well with the flowers, the courgette, and the creamy. The rosemary, the truffle, the lemon dressing, it just creates a very uh, balanced um, structure to, to, to what I'm having, to this experience. If you cannot find this beer, I would go with a pale golden ale and uh, try a nice salad with beetroot, green beans, courgettes which are very floral in their own right. I have here a uh, Estrella de Galicia Reserva 1906. So it's a very old fashioned beer, full medium bodied and it will go very very well with any of the most traditional and authentic robust tapas. Tortilla or a Spanish omelette what I have over here. It's a mix of egg caramelized onion, fried potatoes, all cooked in a pan with extra virgin olive oil. Not so refreshing. Caramel flavors. And let me cut through this wonderful omelette. And that's the Spanish omelette, which is very runny. That's how we like to eat it in Spain, funny enough. Mmm, very subtle. Those caramel tastes with the sweetness of the caramelized onion that it has on it, the extra virgin olive oil that everything is being fried on as well. You will find tortilla in every tapas bar in the world and uh, enjoy it with a great lager. It makes the perfect match. And last but not least, I have a Bipa craft beer, which is a Valencia's take on an English IPA. And I'm matching it with what we call a Hamburgos. Burgos because he's a black pudding that comes from Burgos. Mmm, very hoppy, bitter. Let's use both hands and get stuck into it. Mmm, it's not particularly gamey. 
because it has lots of rice inside. So it's very mild. And the caramelized red peppers brings a lot of sweetness and the garlicky mayonnaise inside, the alioli. Sometimes the perfect match is not about bringing both really si to similar levels. Sometimes contrast work very, very well and this is the perfect case for that. If you want to try this at home, I would recommend you to try any black pudding or any gamey dish will work really well with this Hopi IPA. So there you have four amazing Spanish craft beers. If you want the best out of your tapas, you have to try this. Check out Tim Anderson matching beers with the street food. Click over here to go to the video. Don't forget to subscribe to DrinksTube. There is everything you will ever need drinks-wise. Hasta pronto.